Hey everyone, I just wanted to uh, make a video about how to catch an X-ray. I'm playing here on the RPS Minecraft server, which is a uh, survival PvP semi-vanilla server. But we do have a few plugins to make things like finding X-rayers or uh, stopping griefing easier. So to find X-rayers the way I do it, you're going to need a few plugins uh, running either Bucket or Spigot. Uh, and we're using Core Protect, which is a great plugin to uh, track the block breaks and placements that players make and uh, find out what they're up to. So in this example, uh, I would say you can use slash CO, L, P, which indicates, or sorry, not P, uh, B, which indicates block, diamond, or T, seven days, and uh, hit enter, and it'll show you. So I've already got to these logs. And Cricket Socks is legit, uh, as well as many of the other players. But basically, I go through the logs and teleport to the player's uh, breaks of Diamond Ore a few times to see what they're up to. And uh, in this case, I identified one called Buey Teabag. So we're going to do C O L P Buey Teabag Block Diamond. Four times seven days. And so there we go, there's his most recent break. So we're going to teleport to the coordinates 352, 8, 418. And what do you know? It's pitch black, which is the first sign of an X ray mine. Lots of X rayers don't use torches because they don't need to. And so one of the things you need to have as an admin is an X ray mod. Uh, I forget what the name of this one is called, but it's through Mod Loader. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, not that I condone using X ray, but if you're an admin, you kind of need it. So this, here it is, Fulbright. This is where he last broke diamonds. Let's go back. This tunnel sure zigzags a lot, seems like X ray. And here's the start of the tunnel. Looks like he came through here. Let's enable the inspector, which just means we can place a block or uh, break them to check. So he dug through here and then put gravel in. Went along here. Stone. 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 Oh, and diamond ore. Alright, so he made that random turn and then dug straight to diamond. And then, let's see. Straight iron and diamond. So that's pretty conclusive results that he is an X-ray, and I was actually following him when he was digging this tunnel uh, almost a week ago, half a week ago. Uh, but I wanted to use this as an example for the video because uh, we've had pretty much honest players, and uh, the other players I've, that I've discovered X-ray have rolled back their results. So one thing we can do is restore the diamonds that he dug out. And so to do that, we're going to do slash co restore, or um, sorry, we're going to roll them back. Roll back player theory to bag block diamond or time seven, seven days. And this one's important that we didn't need the other commands. This one we do need now for rollback which is radius, and we're going to put in global. So we go three chunks. Now I'm just going to turn on x-ray and uh, go through this tunnel, and we'll see, oh hey, there's diamonds right up there. Going through the tunnel, and what do you know, this turns right up to, x to the diamonds that he x-rayed. Now this tunnel continues this way, as you can see, we granite and with stone. And all of a sudden he turns left and goes straight to diamond again. So that's how to catch an X-rayer on a bucket or a spigot server using uh, uh, Core Protect as well as um, X-ray and Fulbright mod, which is pretty easy to do. You just have to keep an eye out for a few basic things, like I said, the dark tunnels, because uh, X-rays don't use torches, and then when they dig straight towards diamond. And I would also recommend rolling back the uh, things like diamonds so other players can find them and uh, 
you know, otherwise the resources just get depleted that more quickly. Anyway, thanks for watching.